Nations has passed a resolution condemning sexual violence as a tool of war. But critics say the statement is a weak one because of objections from a number of countries, among them the United States, which rejected the inclusion of reproductive rights. The CBC's Melissa Kent has the details. The Security Council debate featured several well-known briefers, including Nobel Prize winners Dennis Mukwege and Nadia Murad. Mukwege is a Congolese gynecologist who works with victims of rape. Murad is the Yazidi activist who was kidnapped by ISIS and held captive for three months. Human rights lawyer Amal Clooney also spoke today. She represents Yazidi women who have been freed from sexual slavery, including Murad. She would trade her Nobel Peace Prize in a heartbeat for the chance to get what she really wants, the chance to face in a court of law those who murdered her mother and her brothers and those who brutally and repeatedly raped her. It is time to make justice your priority so that history can record what happened, so that we can stop it from happening again. Clooney told world powers around the table that they must bring ISIS fighters to justice. She called this their Nuremberg moment, referring to the military tribunals held after World War II to bring Nazi war criminals to justice. The Security Council did end up adopting a resolution on sexual violence in conflict, but only after the U.S. demanded that language on access to sexual and reproductive health services be removed. Uh, diplomats tell CBC that the U.S. sees this as code for access to abortion. Germany, which holds the presidency of the Security Council this month, said it decided to move forward with today's vote after conferring with Clooney, Murad Mukwege and others because although the new resolution does not explicitly refer to reproductive health services in the event rape is used as a weapon of war, today's text reaffirms previous resolutions which do include that right. Melissa Kent, CBC News at the United Nations in New York. You're watching CBC News Network. We're back in a moment.